Well, my name is Tracy Lynn Martin, and I'm currently the first person to circumnavigate the three largest lakes in North America by kayak. I have circumnavigated Lake Michigan, Lake Huron, and Lake Superior, and I finished this in um, October the 15th. My overall goal is to circumnavigate all five of the Great Lakes, which obviously has not been done either. I'm currently on the south shore of Lake Erie, and I'm heading towards Niagara, at which point I'll carry my boat around Niagara Falls. I'll circumnavigate Lake Ontario, come back through Niagara Falls carrying my boat, and then do the north shore of Erie and finish in Detroit. So you're here, you're here in Cleveland, Ohio right now, so talk to us about what uh, got you thinking about this idea of circumnavigating the Great Lakes. Well, it's never been done before, and back in 2015, my mother was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, and before she passed away, she had a lot of regrets of things that she'd never gotten to do in her life that she just kept putting off and putting off thinking she had time and then suddenly the time had run out. So before she passed away she told me if there was anything that I wanted to do to not wait because the worst thing to do is to be at the end of your life and have regrets about things that you didn't do that you wanted to do. And um, I thought about that and when I was young, I made the choice to get married and have children, which I absolutely adore my children. I would never want to do anything different. But I gave up the opportunity to join the Peace Corps and to be an explorer like my father was. He explored the world, and I loved as a child listening to his stories. And uh, I've always wondered what my life would have been like now had I made that, a different choice. I always wondered if I was strong enough to, to be like my father. And um, so, this is my attempt to see if I'm as strong in reality as I would like to think I am in my head. And so that's why I'm attempting to do this. And I'm doing this with rheumatoid arthritis. I'm a nurse and I work at a hospital and patients will come in with chronic diseases and they've given up on life. They hurt and so it's hard to get them up out of bed and out of their chair and they'll tell me you don't know what it's like. And I'll be like, I do know I have rheumatoid arthritis. I do understand that you hurt. But now I can be a role model for these people and I can say, if I can do something, if I can get up and paddle every single day, I've been paddling since March. If I can do something that no one has ever done before with rheumatoid arthritis, you can get up and garden. You can get up and walk your dog. You can get up and do the things in life that you still love. It's cooking, no matter what it is. Um, don't sit in your chair and give up on life because once you give up hope, then you're no longer living. You're just existing, and that's a long way to live the rest of your life. Okay, Tracy. Tell us how people can find out what you're up to and where you're going and how they can help you in your uh, along on your trip. The best way to uh, see how I'm doing on my trip is Facebook. Um, my name is Tracy Lynn Martin, T-R-A-C-I-L-Y-N-N -N Martin. You have to type in all three names to get me. You'll see a woman holding a paddle. That would be me. Uh, I pretty much friend everybody. And... Um, you can um, follow me that way. You can follow me on racesal.com. You can follow me on Spot. I have a GPS Spot tracker. And um, I've had people just show up at boat ramps knowing I was going to be there and with a, a cup of hot coffee and just to say, hey, congratulations, and we're following you. And, you know, what you're doing is really cool. And how might they follow, uh, find you either on your website or via social media? Uh, my website is just around the point at G, uh, well, just around the point .com is my website, but that's just more for historical information. You can email me at just around the point at gmail.com, points P O I N T E, um, or you can send me a Facebook message. Um, and actually, I'm going to give out my phone number because it's all over the web. It's 816 536 1384. Texting me is the best way to contact me. When I paddle, I have my phone on airplane mode to save battery life, but when I turn it, take it off of airplane mode, the text will come in.